Hi there, I'm Lori Jenkins. I'm coming to you from your state capitol in Olympia, where we've just passed the cutoff date for policies originating in the House. This means any policy bill not voted out of a House committee yet is no longer moving forward. Fiscal bills are being heard this week, and so our fiscal cutoff is on Friday. I'm on the Appropriations Committee, and we are very busy hearing those bills that have a fiscal impact. I want to take a little bit of time today, though, to talk to you about a series of policy bills that came out of the Judiciary Committee, which I chair. These are all related to gun violence. Gun violence is something that we really need to address, but there is not a simple, single solution to preventing gun violence. It requires a comprehensive approach. I'm encouraged by the unprecedented conversations happening in our communities around gun violence and what can be done to prevent gun tragedies. And I'm also pleased to say that we've been successful in moving a number of bipartisan gun responsibility bills forward. There's a measure that would allow the state patrol to decide whether they want to sell or destroy guns they confiscate as a result of criminal activity, rather than being required to resell them. Another proposal would make people who continue to try to buy firearms after they've already failed background checks subject to prosecution. There's a safe storage bill that would allow the possibility of criminal charges if a child gains access to an unsecured gun and harms him or herself or someone else. Another bill would give people who purchase a firearm a sales tax break for purchasing a safe storage device. And finally, a bill to bolster suicide prevention efforts and develop strategies for reducing access to lethal means is going to have a hearing in appropriations this very week. We just observed Suicide Prevention Awareness Week here at the Capitol, and advocates created a very moving memorial in the flag circle. It symbolizes all the deaths in our state by suicide last year. You'll notice a large number of red tombstones. Those were suicides by firearm. I firmly believe suicide awareness and prevention efforts are a key part of reducing gun violence in our state. So I'm glad to see this and other common sense measures moving forward. As always, I welcome your thoughts and feedback on this issue and others. You can call or email me. My information is running across the screen right now. You'll also have the opportunity to join a town hall meeting I'm hosting on March 11th with my seatmates, Representative Jake Fye and Senator Jeannie Darneal. It's going to be from 1030 to noon at the Evergreen State College campus at 1210 Sixth Avenue. Sign in begins at 930 and I hope to see you there and I look forward to our discussion as a community. Thanks for listening today. It's an honor to serve you.